Airlines in Lagos has commenced flights operation amid strict protocol. At least five of the nine local commercial airlines will this morning take to the skies in a restart of scheduled flight services following three months of COVID-19 lockdown. We are now joined by Mary Chinda, Plus TV Africa's correspondent, who is at the airports to bring us up to speed uh, with what is going on. Good morning, Mary. Good morning, Amata. Thank you for being on the ground. Mary, bring us up to speed on the atmosphere at Lagos as, uh, Airport as flight resumes today. What are you seeing? All right, so this is a very welcome development. Uh, to you very well know the airport is actually shut down um, in March. And um, this is almost four months um, before the resumption of, of, uh, of uh, activities here at the airport. Right behind me are uh, um, um, staff of the airport, people who are traveling, and as you can see, people who are uh, making their way into uh, the airport. Um, the 7 a.m. flight, the fire bomb air, and, um, and mass air, are actually taking off early this morning, as early as 7 a.m., and the people are still making their way. As you can see, the people are putting on their nose masks uh, as the uh, as just at the doorway, um, it's, uh, they're actually using their hand sanitizers and of course the, the temperature effects are also ongoing. So it's a really welcome development here. I guess right. people have been holding on you know, to begin to travel again. Yeah, I can only imagine their excitement, the excitement of the travelers who've been itching to uh, travel all this while. Now, what's the observation of the compliance level of passengers on NCDC protocols? Yes, you did mention that they are having a face mask. But how about the social distancing? You know, how, how are they able to achieve that from what you've seen so far? A measure that has um, been, that so far, I mean, I've spent an hour here, and the strict observance, matter of fact, uh, the, the staff of the airport has have to come to me somebody to say, you can't go close to your camera, but you have to, you know, observe social distancing. And, you know, I uh, just right behind me and even inside when I have to go inside, people are asked to, you know, observe social distancing, keep six meters away from um, one another. All right, Mary, has anything changed in the way and manner the airport's officials are treating motorists and air passengers? What did you see? Can you take that again? Uh, did anything change in the way airport officials are treating motorists and passengers? Are they allowed to come? How far are they allowed to come and drop off uh, travelers? Um, there's a certain measure right now. I mean, so, uh, just, just watching how uh, a car's coming, and even when we were coming, we were told, no, you have to stop at, at that, uh, that, that much. You, you cannot come in. Um, um, as close as you, you used to coming anymore. So yes, there's actually stricter measures right now to ensure that um, people are not crowded in there. Um, but also it's, uh, it's some increased uh, restrictions for even journalists. You know, we were not even allowed to get in there today and that's because they're trying to ensure that um, the people are not congested in a particular area even as people begin to travel. All right, Mary, thank you so very much for bringing us up to speed and for monitoring the situation there. Please do keep safe out there, you and the crew. Thank you, Mary. All right.